Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today is January 3rd and this is my weekly shop update. So some of you may have noticed I took a little bit of a break from the shop updates in December. Just nice to kind of step away for a little bit and just focus on the trailer stuff and take a little time to, uh, you know, not be rushing around trying to get videos out all the time. So I might do that uh, every year or something. I don't know. It's kind of nice. I've been doing the shop updates for uh, this month will be six years. So a little break from doing those things this feels pretty good so uh yeah we'll see how things go uh this week i have several things to kind of bring you up with it's going to be a little bit of a i guess a shop update light we're just going to do a little bit of chatting about things i guess not a whole lot of post-production work for me that's the plan at least <laughs> so first off the new build here in the shop is a garden bench so i have the wood for that over here this is thermally modified ash so it is uh ash that's been baked and the fibers have been altered because of the heat. So this stuff is uh, insect resistant and rot resistant. It has a lower tendency for wood movement. So this is gonna make a nice little garden bench. That is the build that's gonna be happening over in the guild. That is my next class. Uh, that is starting next week. So you have a few days left to buy the project before it goes up to full price while it's still here on pre-order price. And uh, we're doing something a little bit different for this launch, I will be going to Denver to visit Mark Spagnolo. I'll be spending next week in his shop and I'll be doing the launch party and I will be there in his shop for the launch party. The launch party is uh, an opportunity for us to stream the first couple of videos for the class to all the guild members and kind of give people a last minute, I want to buy this or not sort of sample of the thing. So if you're not already a guild member, you can head over and you can buy the free, you don't have to buy it, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> you can check out the free picture frame project. One of the other things I've been doing while I'm in uh, Mark's shop is we'll be shooting another free project for the guild. So you have the opportunity to sample a picture frame project as well as a small step stool, a dovetailed, a splayed dovetailed uh, step stool project as well. So lots of things happening over in the guild. Uh, check it out and, and, and whatnot. <laughs> now if we pan over here past my 12 foot long boards, you can see sort of the new thing I'm working on this year already, a little bit of uh, shop organization. So in the shop, I have a lot of things that aren't like woodworking related or things that I need to use to build furniture projects. And that all now lives in this box. I have been kind of thinking about doing this for a long time. And I'm really happy that I have this here now. And I have all my stuff in here because I have all the stuff that was on the walls before and like in my assembly table and just floating around which had nowhere to go is now living in this box and that is uh, super nice. So like I have a drawer, it's just all the welding stuff so if I need anything for welding it's right there. It's not like everything is in different places throughout the shop. I have that drawer for welding as well as this bottom one which has the hoods and other things. So I'm just, I'm ecstatic to finally have this stuff all in one spot. And what's kind of nice about this box is um, it, kind of, it nests in here a lot better than I thought it was going to. So when I got it in here, I was like, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. But it uh, fits in here nicely between the dust collector and I have the metal bandsaw back in here, which is something I don't use very often either. So when I need to use it, I can just wheel the toolbox around or pull the saw in the driveway or whatever. So I'm not super worried about uh, boxing in that saw. And if I need more space around the jointer here, I can always push this thing towards the workbench and vice versa. If I need more space around the workbench, I can just push the box in this direction. So I posted a little something on my social media on uh, uh, Instagram and Facebook about a little bit of the story about, uh, I guess, Snap-on and why I got this box. So uh, if you haven't seen that, uh, check out my Instagram page or my Facebook page. Um, my dad worked at Snap-on for 18 years from the time I was born until the time I went off to college. Um, we had snap-on boxes at home, so when I was a kid, uh, anytime my dad needed anything, I was the guy who went to go get it, and a snap-on box is what I was touching as I was grabbing the tools out of the box. So honestly, like every sub thousand dollar box to me feels cheap and flimsy. So if I was gonna buy a mechanics roller cab like this, it had to be something in this higher range of stuff because I'm a, I was spoiled, I guess. <laughs> and the other thing is it just brings back a lot of uh, nostalgia for me because growing up, Snap-on was a big part of our lives. So there is that. 
So that's the shop. There's a lot more free space in here now too. Let's, uh, let's pan around real quick. So now back there I have uh, that old space open and uh, I don't know, it just seems like there's a little more room to breathe in here just because I got all the clutter into this one box. I did shoot some video of cleaning it up and organizing the shop a bit. So that video I'll probably put out later this month when I get back from my trip. Uh, and uh, next up here is where the trailer is at. So the trailer series has one more video before it's caught up to uh, this point. I am currently shooting video six, which is gonna be fenders and a log arch. So I have the backing plates for the fenders all cut out. There's a backing plate for a fender, which goes in there somewhere. Fenders are made out of the same material as the deck. It's 10 gauge steel and uh, they'll get reinforced with some tube in there as well because uh, I ain't uh, dealing with flimsy fenders, that's for sure. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's on the ground. It rolls. I pulled it out of here to clear some snow the other day with the truck and uh, it backed back down the driveway very smoothly. So at five miles an hour, it tows very nicely. <laughs> so this is coming along. I, I, I'm, I'm ecstatic because it's, it's on the ground. It can be attached to a truck. It's got wheels. It is technically now a trailer. <laughs> and lastly, I just want to tell you a little bit about this book. This came out, Fulfilled, Not Famous, by Elizabeth Rathburn. Uh, this is all about sort of behind the scenes of how uh, people like me earn a living online producing content about things they're passionate about. So if you have uh, any interest in peeking behind the curtain on that sort of stuff, this is uh, a great read. Uh, Elizabeth interviewed me and I'm kind of cited in there in a few of the, uh, the chapters, which is really cool. And I really appreciate her taking the time to include me in her research. Uh, I think I might be the only one like in like the making-ish space, but there are uh, kind of stories and tales from all different interests of people making content they're passionate about. So really fun read. I definitely recommend checking it out, and I will leave you a link to it down in the description with links to other things that I will leave you as well down there. So I think that's going to do it for me this week. Don't worry, viewer projects will be back soon. I'm just trying to keep the production time this week uh, under control. <laughs> I really hope everyone had a fantastic Christmas and New Year's, and I hope you had some time to just take off and spend some time with your families and all that good stuff. And I hope your 2020 is off to a uh, rock and awesome start. So thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today or anything here in my shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy woodworking.